relationships have you developed from being at the SAG Foundation? It sounds like, I mean, when you walked in the door, they all greeted <laughs> you and they had huge smiles and they wanted to see you. So. Well, that's, that's nice. And, and it's been a while since I've been back here because um, I spent a lot of time on the East Coast, but that actually fits in because um, I would say there's a half a dozen people here at the SAG Foundation um, who work in the office. There's Tina, Tina who you guys met, um, and Simon, and Jesse, and I actually just ran into Jesse at a screening recently and was like, hey, how are you? Because it, it's been a little while since I've been back here. Um, so, and they're all part of the SAG Foundation. Some of them are actors themselves, um, but it's definitely, um, there's Nurit as well. So there's definitely been a group of people who maybe other opportunities come through. Um, but so for instance, I was in New York last year, I was in Philadelphia and I saw that New York also has a SAG Foundation. Um, it was almost non-existent, but what they did was they sent one of the gals from here out for a trial and a year later she's still there and she loves it and SAG Foundation is now blooming in New York City. Um, her name is Stacy, and she had no idea that I was in town. Well, I saw a really cool event that she was putting on in New York, so I grabbed some girlfriends in New York, we RSVP'd, and we showed up. And I walk in the door, and she's like, oh, I saw your name on the list, and I thought you RSVP'd for the wrong city. <laughs> and I was like, no. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not even just confined to, like, L.A. Like, the relationships I've built here are, you know, expansive all over the place, and I think that's with any kind of good relationship. It, it branches out to so much, you have no idea where it's going to lead, you know?